backing vocals. Great to meet you, Tom. I'm Max Langley and I uh, bass and backing vocals. That's great, man. I'm Lizzie, I'm the lead singer and guitarist. Oh, out. And guitarist. Well, not more the lead guitarist. Oh, no, no. I'm a guitarist. No, no, guitarist. No, yeah, yeah. I'm Luke and I'm lead guitar. Oh, you're lead guitar. Yeah. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> I'm TJ and I'm drummer. Come on, TJ. Thanks. So, what can I tell you? You're about to play Glastonbury Festival. A little bit nervous, is that, or are you just enjoying yourself? <laughs> <laughs> bit both. So, um, have you got any tips or anything you can pass on for surviving in the music industry? Yeah, you have to stay stay true to what you believe in. How old are you? I'm 14. 14, yeah. Well, I was playing guitar from the age of about 16, and I never made any money from it until I was about 25, and I had to do a lot of rotten jobs. But I kept believing that I would do this. I kept writing songs, and uh, eventually it came right. And so. Uh, I haven't had to work for anybody else for the last 25 years. I'm pretty proud of that. Okay. I just wanted to know what made you um, turn to protest music. Well, really, I'm not a protest singer. I write a lot of love songs. You know, I think more of the songs I write are love songs than anything else. But you know, there's a whole world out there that you've got to try and reflect. And uh, I happen to be writing songs around the time of the miners' strike in 1984, which was very, very political. And almost everybody in the country was polarised, they were either for or against it. So it was possible for me to write songs and be confident that people would understand what I was writing about because everyone was thinking about it anyway. So that kind of helped. But in the end, you've got to be true to yourself. If that's what you feel about something, you've got to write about it, whatever it's about, you know. No, I, just, I have a question. Oh, you? Um, will you introduce us on stage today? Yeah. Would you? Yeah, of course. Awesome. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Not a problem. Yeah. 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 Since starting out in the music business, is there anything you want, want to change? Well, not really. I mean, I've been, I've more or less sort of run it myself, and and, and you know, I've been my own man. Um, I, you know, I'm very, very lucky. I do what I always want to do, and they pay me to do it, and that's the definition of success. Anything else, playing Glastonbury, getting on top of the pops, having a gold record, that's all cherry on the cake. If you can get up in the morning and go to work knowing that this is what you love and this is what you've always wanted to do, that's success. So. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not one for regrets, I'll be perfectly honest with you. And I'm last one, I think. Um, how long have you been involved with the Left Field stage? Since its inception. Yes. Uh, we, we, we have been so into Left Field, we can't remember when we started. We think it was 2002. Yeah. And we think we've had one off year last year, so we think we've done five years here. Yeah. Uh, originally, it was, a, it was a stage down by the uh, Green Futures Field, and the actual stage was about as high as this trestle table. And when it got excited, everyone used to get pushed from the back and fall up the stage. Which wasn't much help, and then um, then we got promoted to this great venue here because we're right at the meeting point here. This is a very very central place, lots of people to and fro in, and we got this lovely big steel floor marquee. And since then it's been you know just growing and growing. We've got the little staging uh, you know this year. We've been having some great stuff there. If you're still around tonight, they'll still be putting bands on there at three o'clock in the morning. And uh, it's a lovely space. And of course, if it rains, because it sometimes rains in Glastonbury, <laughs> you get you get a tent full of people, which is great. So I love it up here. Can I uh, throw in an extra question? Yeah. What's your view on record labels and the idea of being signed? I think that's changed a lot from when I was trying to get signed. When I was trying to get signed, if I didn't mind, if one of my records would be available in Scotland or in America or anywhere else, you know, I needed to sign to a big record label. Now I don't think you need to do that. I think you need to, to find ways of using the internet to get your music out there and perhaps give people a taste before you sign up. Because also, when we used to sign recording contracts, it's what's called life of copyright, which means as long as you can make money from that. So a lot of people don't own their own catalogue, for instance, the Beatles. You know, whereas I own my catalogue, so I always uh, uh, sign record deals, but the records came back to me. I have a thing called reversion. So my advice is to be very, very wary about signing up long-term record deals and think about what might be happening next year. I mean, you know, the music industry in 10 years' time might not look anything like the way it looks now, but I can assure you there'll still be people who want to hear music and people who want to make music. That ain't going to change, so as long as you keep doing that, you'll probably be okay. You've got something that people want. So, you know, try and keep it as close to you as you can. Brilliant, thanks. It's nice in tune. We want me to play anything special. New England. New England. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing easy, like.
that was in the chorus I was 21 years old, I wrote this song I'm 22 now, but I won't be for long People ask me when will I grow up to be a man But when girls start up to school, we wait for push and cry You can tell I've been singing all weekend, can't you? I loved you then as I love you still I put you on a pedestal, they put you on a pill Don't feel bad about letting you go Just feel sad about letting you know Here we go I don't care to the world Looking for a new year I can't remember the chords <laughs> Too old for this stuff Too old for this lark <laughs> Thank you Yeah! <laughs>